solve this equation, where, x and y are integers. This is a Diophantin equation. There are two variables in one equation. We notice that, 2 divides the left-hand side of the equation. So 2 must divide the right-hand side of the equation. As 2 divides 6, so 2 divides x plus y minus 1. This implies that, x and y, have opposite parity. By symmetry in x and y, we assume that, x equals 2m, and y equals 2n plus 1, where, m and n are integers. Then the original equation becomes, 2 times 2m, times 2n plus 1, plus 2 all squared, minus 6 times 2m plus 2n, plus 1 all squared, equals 2m plus 2n all cubed, minus 6. As each term in the equation has a factor 2, so divide the equation by 2, we have, 2m times 2n plus 1, plus 2 all squared, minus 3 times 2m plus 2n, plus 1 all squared, equals 4 times m plus n all cubed, minus 3. 2m times 2n plus 1, plus 2 all squared, is equal to, 4mn plus 2m plus 2 all squared. We know that, a plus b plus c all squared, is equal to, a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, plus 2ab, plus 2bc, plus 2ca. By applying this, 2m plus 2n, plus 1 all squared, is equal to, 4m squared, plus 4n squared, plus 1, plus 8mn, plus 4m plus 4n. The right hand side of the equation is unchanged. 3 on the right hand side of the equation, and that on the left hand side of the equation cancel. So the equation becomes, 4mn plus 2m, plus 2 all squared, minus 3 times, 4m squared, plus 4n squared, plus 8mn, plus 4m plus 4n equals 4 times m plus n all cubed. As each term in the equation has a factor 4, so divide the equation by 4, we have, 2mn plus m plus 1 all squared, minus 3 times m squared plus n squared, plus 2mn, plus m plus n, equals m plus n all cubed. Rearrange the equation, we have, 2mn plus m plus 1 all squared, equals m plus n all cubed plus 3 times m squared, plus n squared, plus 2mn, plus m plus n. As m squared plus n squared, plus 2mn, equals m plus n all squared. So m squared plus n squared, plus 2mn, plus m plus n, equals m plus n, times m plus n plus 1. We know that, a plus b all cubed, equals a cubed, plus b cubed, plus 3 times a b, times a plus b. So we add 1, and minus 1, on the right side of the equation. Then the first three terms on the right hand side of the equation, is equal to, m plus n plus 1 all cubed. So the equation becomes, 2mn plus m plus 1 all squared, equals m plus n plus 1 all cubed, minus 1. Rearrange the equation, we have, m plus n plus 1 all cubed minus 2mn plus m plus 1 all squared, equals 1. We let u equal m plus n plus 1, and v equal 2mn plus m plus 1. Then equation 1 becomes, u cubed, minus v squared, equals 1. This is a Mordell's equation. It is well known that, equation 2 has only the trivial solution, u equals 1, and v equals 0. Then we have, m plus n plus 1 equals 1 and 2mn plus m plus 1 equals 0. From equation 3, we know that n equals negative m. Now substitute n equals negative m. In equation 4, we have 2m squared minus m minus 1 equals 0. By factorizing, we have m minus 1 times 2m plus 1 equals 0. As m is an integer, so m equals 1. Then n equals negative 1. Because x equals 2m, and y equals 2n plus 1. So x equals 2, and y equals negative 1. By symmetry in x and y, x y can equal negative 1, 2. Now we verify, whether they are solutions of the original equation. In each case, 
x times y equals negative 2, and x plus y equals 1. So the left hand side of the original equation, equals 2 times negative 2 plus 2 all squared, minus 6 times 1 squared. Which is equal to, 0 minus 6, which is negative 6. The right hand side of the original equation, equals 1 minus 1 all cubed, minus 6. Which is equal to, 0 minus 6, which is negative 6. So they are solutions of the original equation.